Here's how you play Half-Life and Go mod, which is Golden Source Gary's mod, on the PlayStation Vita. So, the first thing you gotta do is go into the two links in the description. Here we have Go mod 3.4. You gotta download this, and you gotta down and you could blah. So you gotta go into this GitHub link that I'll have here. You need to download this zip file and then go down to the previous release and install this data file, okay? So I already have them installed right here on my PC right here. So I will be plugging my PlayStation Vita into USB as it's faster for me. So now I have E Drive, so I'll go into my UXO data and I'll have a new tab because I'm on Windows 11. You can always just Windows snap on Windows 10. Either connect with FTP. But these are big files, so I recommend. Very much recommend. Using a USB. I will be going here. So first, Vita XS 3D multiplayer fix. In your root of your UXO. I'm going to be putting the... VPK here, the package that you're going to install. Next, you're going to need the data. So here, data. This goes into your data folder, of course it will. But, we need to do some other things first. Where'd it go? Okay, now that we're back and we have installed everything, right? In my data, look, see, XS3D, Valve, Launcher, Valve, there would be some other stuff, like Counter-Strike, Blue Shift, Gearbox, but I deleted them, because why not? Like, see, they're here on some broken one. I don't know how that happened. Just some silly stuff. I don't know. Here we are. And we want Go Mod 2, also. Oh, this is Half-Life, right? All of Half-Life. Now we're gonna get the Go Mod folder. Drag that, put this out here. And we need Half-Life files. That's what Go Mod like leeches off, you know? So you copy. And you paste. It's gonna do a thing. Now that's all done. Oh, why is there a valve folder in valve? Ooh. I think we did a little oopsie here. So if the in valve, let me just check. This is, yeah, this is just, yeah. Yeah, just half life. That means you have. Installation in installation, which is pretty weird. Um, Okay, so now that we have finally done the transfer with everything, this is your Half-Life. Just saying you do need to own Half-Life for this. Okay. Or, well, have Half-Life. And now, we need to, now we're going to install Go Mod. So you need to extract this. I've already extracted it right here. So here's your valve. Go mod. So here's everything. Copy it. And in your valve. You paste. It's going to tell you. That you need to replace stuff. Because you're replacing. Your half life files. With go mod files. See right here, there we go, everything we need. Right, that's all we want. 
Now that this is a Val folder, but we're going to rename it as we don't want any contradictions, you know. But you do need a Valve folder, at least one. Okay, and you need to keep Launcher and Valve if you're going to delete anything. This is your main folder. If you don't have Valve, then xs 3 d won't open. So I can rename this to Go Mod because we have a Valve folder and that's Half Life. And now we have to go through another transfer. So, whatever you want, get whatever you want. As I said, USB is more, like, a little quicker. Well, much quicker, as it's boom, device, device, and not device, internet, router, LAN to device. Because that is FTP. You don't need FTP when you have a USB. And it's just your Vitas charger. Your VDS charger is a data cable. Why not just use that? Smart, you know? Let everything do it, and then I'll get back to you when this is done. Now that we are on our Vita, gonna open up Vita shell. Here we are, your XO around our route. Just gonna use the D pad, get down to Vita XS 3D MP fix. Install the Vita package. Just let it take its time. You know what to do. You feel me? You know what to do, man. <clears throat> there we are. Done. Return. Close out of that. See Vita XS 3D having its fun. I literally uninstalled it. It was always here. So we're going to run it. And here we are, Valve, Half-Life, yes. If it says yes with DLLs, it is going to work. It does take a while to load, but who cares? It's Half-Life on the PS Vita. The PS Vita is kind of better than the Switch. Like, here we are, Half-Life, play it. Difficult. Let's just run it, I guess. Hurry up, Ben. See, loading. Loading, my friend. Half life. Look at that. Look at this. Mm -mm. 55 FPS on the train. In half life. And I think my overclocking isn't on. I just turn that on. Shablamo, we are running even better. I, w I would like finick and mess with the controls a bit. Here's my um ideal config. So jump is enter or X. Duck is um triangle. I usually use my down arrow. Use items. Um, no, backspace. Because backspace is circle and my reload bind square. Primary and secondary is just your bumpers. And previous weapon, next weapon, last weapon used. All done for you. And we're done here, done. And touch does work here too. Don't, yeah. I'll resume. Show you that everything works. I'm jumping with X. Crouching. You know. Everything's doing its thing. Loading, even we have a, we've even hit a load barrier here. And it do its job. And boom. So you even pass the load barrier. And now. I'm just going to quit the game. Quit Half-Life. And just do it normally. 
And let's run Go Mod. Nice Go Mod. It would look either probably a little different to what it looks like on the page on mod.db, but that's because that's how XS3D is different, especially for the Vita. You can see that as it's slow, but here we are. Here we are. New game and load game are normal. When they're grayed out, that means it works. You play on multiplayer. You just go on an internet game. Let's create a game. And let's, um, let's keep it unnamed. And let's find a... Let's find a nice place just to go. Don't think we have GM construct here. Hmm. I'll just go for the data center. Okay. Now it's doing something. My inputs aren't working. That means it's loading. There'll probably be like a little audio thing, like or freak out, but that's better. I just don't have audio. Alright, me and just loop back. Okay, I don't care, man. Loading. See, we even have a loading bar. Did you look at that? Did you look at that? It's beautiful. And why am I auto firing? But would you look at that? Resume. Can duck. I can, you know, do a little sliding. Like here's a revolver. Look at this. Look, the touch controls certainly work. I don't know why it's like this. It's freaking out a little bit. Let me look at my config. Controls. Go my controls. Command menu. No clip. Toggle camera. Camera strike weapons. Look, we have keys and everything. Here's our movement. We want our joysticks jump is this duck is this well look up look down mm-hmm mm -hmm. this is all good these items say that it's a space because it's your square. Primary attack. Control secondary attack. Alt. That's why when you start and it goes crazy, mouse one and mouse two are your thingy more bobs. Walk shift flashlight. I would recommend you keep your touch controls, but not all of them. Like I'd have like inf next inf prev and stuff done done like at least you want a hard right let's see bang bang but this is go mod it's supposed to be similar to gary's mod isn't it so how about we try and open up the menu that's the scoreboard I think like keyboard thing. Oh yeah, that's your keyboard. Flashlight. Use. Jump. Crouch. Secondary. This is your. I think this is your secondary. Yeah, this is your secondary. On the revolver, it's aiming. Reload button works. Uh, you can switch your weapon. 
Oh, I don't know. Oh, that doesn't work, really. But that's really it. Go mess around. Have fun.